Welcome to Run Radio. My name's Trina, and the artist spotlight is shining on Chowler's music today. How are you? Hey, doing great. Thank you. Thanks Welcome. for having me. Oh, of course. This is like long time coming because anyone that knows <laughs> Chalmer knows that he is in front of a mic or on a stage the majority of your life. So <laughs> now that you're actually putting out an album, record, music, being on stage and performing, tell me what it's like, how that feeling is when it's a little bit different than what you've been used to. Uh, just a little bit different because it's my own stuff. So I'm bearing my heart. Now, Lots of times on the radio, that's what I'm doing, trying to connect with, with people and relate with people and uh, sharing sharing life uh, experiences. But this is this is more permanent. I feel like uh, this is this. You, know, you got to write it down. You write it down and then you you bear your heart, and you bear your soul. And then uh, you're standing up on stage doing that very thing. And so it's a little bit different. But uh, the reaction has been just just incredible um I've, I've been overly overly blessed by um the response of people to to my music and so that's what you want as an artist if you're going to bury your soul you hope that you get something nice in return and i have what's it been like to finally put that down on paper like we said you you performed before you've done music before you've even written a lot in your lifetime but to actually put that together and start putting the musical words on paper what was that process like for you the the whole the whole thing was um kind of kind of interesting because i haven't written a song myself in about 15 years or so. And the last song that I wrote um, before any of this um, was, was a song for the church. And it was a, it was a song to um, help with communion, which we'd performed a, a couple of times uh, in Springfield, Missouri, but um, we were performed a couple of times right here in Las Vegas as well. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite songs that I've put down, but um, it just, as I started, as I started playing, um, cover tunes in Boulder City, Nevada, and Henderson, Nevada, and Las Vegas. Um, I had a friend at church say, "Hey, man, um, will you come open for me?" Just, just out of the blue, um, and I went, uh, "Okay, sure." And he said, "He said, now let me tell you what's kosher when when you're doing these these things." And I said, all right. And he said, you've got to open with an original and close with an original, but you can do covers in between or, or whatever. And I went, dude, I've only got one song, man. You know, like <laughs> I've only got one. And the funny thing was um, inspiration had hit just a few days before that um, to put down uh, the first song um, on this project, which was um, which was Come Back to Me. It's a it's a ballad um, that you'll. Um, C as arrows and semicolons uh, hits Bandcamp fully on Friday, uh, September second. So um, excited about that! But I had just written that one, and then he asked me about this. Um, and so when the pressure is on, you you kind of go, okay, well I guess I got to do this, right? <laughs> so so literally grit and under the sun. And come back to me were the th first three songs that I'd written, and grit and under the sun were in less than four days. I, I wrote both of them in less than four days. Um, completed them uh, again. The pressure hit, um, so so I had to come up with something, and uh, that's what I came up with. So um, thanks to Scotty Dub, who's an artist here in Las Vegas, for pushing me, and that's uh, that's how it happened. Do you enjoy the writing process or does it still make you a little like uh, so much pressure? No, actually, actually, I really, I really do enjoy it. Um, and since, since I've opened up that faucet, things have been flowing a whole lot more. Um, we have a, we have a full project or full scale project um, already complete. We're playing those songs live. Um, we have, we have about uh, 10 or 11 uh, original songs that we're playing. As a matter of fact, we're going to play them this weekend and um, uh, perform those. And it's been it's been really fun to watch the evolving process uh, when it comes to each songs because the EP, um, as as you hear it, those songs have evolved so much even since I put it down permanently. Um, but yeah, I really do enjoy the writing process. Um, it allows me. It's it's kind of like a journal, um, but um, my writing process is not 
sit down. I got to think about what I'm going to write about and this, that, and the other. Lots of times it just hits me, um, whether that's in the kitchen, uh, which one of my songs hit. Um, it's called Dream. It's not on the EP, but um, one of my songs, I was in the kitchen. I was just walking around. I was suddenly just like, ah, I got to grab my phone and, you know, like start, start singing into the phone. Um, uh, one song uh, I wrote uh, actually as I was pulling laundry out. Um, that song is called Yoga Pants. Um, it's not on the EP either, but um, it's kind of funny. Um, so and then, um, but um, Under the Sun, one of those those first that I wrote um, is uh, was kind of, it's a real, I mean, it's still a really tense time when it comes to current events, but it was, it was, was watching all of this stuff happen all at the same time. And I went, I gotta, I gotta put something down. I got, I gotta, I gotta do this. So that's so, kind of, you know, they just kind of pop in my head. <laughs> do you feel, is it very therapeutic immediately or do you feel that just slowly and it resurges again later? What's that like? Um, when you complete a song, it's very therapeutic. Um, the process went, uh, cause uh, I don't know. I feel like I've got a backpack full of unfinished songs, you know, like and just uh, yeah, yeah. weighs you down real good. Yeah. Um, so uh, when it when it comes to that, um, it can be therapeutic, especially if you write a write a line um, like um, one of the lines in on the EP um, in a song called "I Will Listen" is uh, we're just going through the motions, two ships, different oceans, and I wrote that. And I just kind of went, oh, yeah, okay. You know, that that feels good. And then I sent it to my sister and she went, that hits, bro. OK, so, <laughs> it felt good so, to have a little validation yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what's next? OK, do well, you see do you see this becoming, um, you know, one album, two albums, or are you going to be kind of a one and done, which I think I might know the answer to this. But yeah, I want to yeah, hear from I, you. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't expect to be one and done uh, just because things uh, continue to flow. And I'm writing with um, and playing music with some good friends. And so um, the more that we hang out together, the more music just kind of happens and, and creates and, and pops up. Um, I have, you know, as I said, we've got those uh, 10 or 11 originals um, kind of done. So the next, the next thing is to to do another full to do a full project, uh, maybe re-record the five songs from the EP, add five or six songs um, to create a, a full deal, um, and then you know the new songs that come out of that to take some time to to write, um, all the while playing around town and um, and potentially potentially going out of town a few times, you know, to go, uh, yeah. to go see some people and, you know, perform, perform other places. Um, uh, it's, uh, that's a little in the works. Um, my major thing, I think that I'm missing right now is merch. I just, uh, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes as a father of two and a husband and, you know, working in ministry and, you know, doing, doing all of that um, to, have the capital to invest into stickers and logos and, you know, I like understand. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very understandable. Mm -hmm. I, I ordered, uh, you know, some, some stickers and I'm like, well, that's it for a while. They got to go a long uh, way. Know, <laughs> Although right. I did order my Chalmers shirt and I was hoping it would ah. be here for the interview, but it's not yet. So uh, I will snap a shop for social when I get it. That's for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you for ordering the, um, uh, our friends at the Greek corner are actually doing the shop, um, doing the merch shop for us. And um, on top of that, if I, I need a few more orders uh, before before they release, um, so you will you will get yours okay. by the end of the month um, for sure. Um, and so we're uh, we're probably going to buy out the store um, a little bit just to have some merch on hand so that we can we can actually uh, sell those uh, because it's hard virtual sales when you're when you're in front of people because they want it right then and there. Yes. Yep. Yep. Instant gratification. We'll tell folks where they can go to get it if they want to go ahead and put the order in. The easiest, the easiest way uh, to do that is to go to my link tree. So um, linktr.ee slash Chalmer, C-H-A-L-M-E-R underscore music. Um, and then you'll find the link to stream the single. You'll find the link to order arrows and semicolons, the EP. And then it's got a merch link there as well. Very good. Grit is already playing on Run Radio and hope you will send more as you have them. 
so many congratulations for your success and hope you'll come back next time you've got more to share. Always love talking with you. Thank you. Love talking with you as well. Good to see you, Trina. Have a good one.